Hey guys, Redstone Without Limits here again, and uh, one thing I forgot yesterday, uh, or the day that we built this this ALU here, is we need to be able to invert A and B individually, which um, we're going to do here. So what you're going to do here is simply put a line on each side, like so. Uh, oop, wrong block. Okay, there we go. And basically what you're going to do here is place torches on either side. So let me get some redstone torches. There we go. So depending on which one you want, so this would be your A side and this would be your B side. right? And um, depending on which side you want to be uh, A and B. So if you wanted, um, for instance, this one to be A, uh, then you would put torches on this side. And if you wanted this one to be B, then you put torches on that side. Um, just to make it easier on myself, I'm going to make this one A and this one B. And you're basically just going to alternate. So, yeah. So, uh, once you've done that, then you can place redstone along the, the top of these lines. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit uh, different. Um, it's basically going to be a lot of busing, so depending on how you set up yours on your end uh, will depend on how you do this. So, yeah, just clearing up that. So, uh, we want to make sure that we have all these levers on one side of the system. So I'm going to choose right here because we have a lot of room. So we're going to have the levers on this side. These are going to be the inputs. Uh, this is cut carry, so this is going to have an inverter, uh, like so. And then uh, we're going to need a slab there, so let's, let's do that. And then it's going to need a redstone torch on top. So there's one. Okay, so uh, right here we have um, this setup. So, yeah, we can go ahead and start doing some stuff with this. So, we need to make sure that we get all these lines as well uh, over here. So, let's get these going over here. And this is the the switch inputs. Uh, so we need redstone. Um, now I'm going to get everything up over to this side and I'll be back once I've done that. Okay guys, we're back and we got all the lines uh, facing in the right direction. So we can start um, actually labeling these because that would be the first step. And I will put redstone on them in a moment. So uh, to label these, we need to find uh, the certain parts of the CPU and look at them. Um, so, for instance, this one is load or no uh, save output. This one is flood carry. This one is cut carry. Um, this is invert B. Now, some of you that are more experienced with CPU building, you might be saying that we don't have a um, full ALU and you would be sort of right it's it's not a very good L ALU I will say that um, but the idea is to teach how uh, a CPU would work how it how it function so this one will basically be able to um, add and subtract and one other um, 
input I forgot to put was the carry in. For any of those, <laughs> those of you of who are wondering like how I did this, I hope there's not anyone like that. But yeah, we're just going to put this carry in on here because then we can do stuff like subtraction, uh, which would be very useful. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Um, yeah, we're just going to deal with that for now. So this is a little unorganized, but um, nevertheless, we can work with this, so it'll be fine. So we're going to label this one as C in. And um, I'd really suggest if you guys are building one of these is definitely um, label all your inputs and outputs. Um, it, it'll come in handy really quick. So and we also got to get this down here up to there. So. Uh, this one is save input. Input. There we go. Uh, this is um, enable input. And we're going to have certain functions so we don't have to. Um, uh, we don't have to like put all these as one as all these functions instead since we only have 16 you know we got to be able to um, control every single line at our will so that's important so this is um, the switch inputs so I'm just gonna label this as a slash B like that and this one is um, this is to enable the inputs. And the last one is load to accumulator. Enable um, ACC output. Oh. Like that. And then we have the last one, um, which is load to accumulator, which is pretty self explanatory. Um, now this will be it for this video, then the next one we will work on function memory and also program memory, which I'll explain that in the next video. So I will see you, bye.